The first two serial production Gripen E fighters, called F-39 Gripen by the Brazilian Air Force, FAB, are now in the South American country of Brazil. The Gripens were formally inducted by the Brazilian Air Force, FAB, on April 22. The two aircraft arrived in the country earlier this month at the port of Navigantes and on April 6, flew from Navigantes International Airport to the Gripen Flight Test Center, GFTC, at Gavião Pixoto, in the state of Sao Paulo, marking their first flight in the country. The two serial production jets, with tail numbers FAB-4101 and FAB-4102, will remain at GFTC until they obtain the military type certificate from the FAB's Industrial Fostering and Coordination Institute, IFI, and the Swedish Military Aviation Safety Inspectorate, FLYGI. Saab had won a contract with Brazil in 2014 for 36 Gripen EF aircraft after a tough competition that included the Dassault Rafael, Boeing's F A18 Super Hornet, and the Eurofighter Typhoon. The contract worth 4.02 billion United States dollars required Saab to provide 28 F39E single-seaters and 8 F39F twin-seaters for Brazil's FX2 fighter modernization program. Saab was able to beat the competition from France's Dassault and U.S. aviation giant Boeing because it offered the Gripen at almost half the price of either the Dassault's Rafale or Boeing's F-A-18. As opposed to $4.02 billion for the Saab Gripen, Brazil would reportedly have to spend about $8 billion for the Dassault's Rafale and $7.5 billion for the Boeing's F-A-18. Also, the cost per hour per flight for the Gripen is said to be $4,000, as compared to the Rafale's $14,000 and F-A-18's $10 minus $14,000. A spokeswoman for Dassault had expressed regret about the decision saying, the Gripen is a lighter, single-engine aircraft that does not match the Rafale in terms of performance and therefore does not carry the same price tag. While the Dassault's spokeswoman may have been correct, but experts had suggested that the outstanding performance and capabilities of the Rafale were not necessarily the requirement for the FAB, which could help explain Brazil's decision to go with Gripen which was much more economical. If you are not a country that wants to bomb areas with really strong air defenses on day one of a war, you have to take the Gripen very seriously, said Sash Tusa, an independent defense analyst. If you want to defend your nation against most things, show that you have sovereignty over your air and sea, then your best bet is Gripen. Moreover, Saab had reportedly offered a larger level of technology transfer for the fighter, as compared to Dassault and Boeing which was an even more important factor that helped it clinch the deal. Brazil had insisted on technology transfers so that the planes can be assembled locally and give a boost to the domestic defense industry and therefore how much of the fighter's technology the bidder is able and willing to share and how much of it will be built within its borders was a decisive factor in awarding the contract. Brazil's Air Force commander at the time, Lieutenant Brigadier Juniti Saito while announcing the choice of Saab Gripen had said that several Brazilian companies would contribute to the project, and upon its completion, Brazil would have full access to the technology of the aircraft. In 2018, Saab unveiled its new aerostructures facility in Brazil near Sao Paulo, known as the Saab Aeronautica Montagens with plans to incorporate up to 200 employees by 2024. Those structures would then undergo final assembly at Embraer's nearby plant in Sao Paulo and Saab's main Gripen production hub in Linköping, Sweden. That said, there are plans underway to buy more Gripens to double the FAB's current fleet of 36 Gripen aircraft. In February, Brazil's Air Force chief, Lt. Brigadier Baptista Jr. said in an interview that there were on with Saab for buying an additional 30 Gripen fighter jets to reach a total of 66 fighter jets. Our capacity-based plans point to a total of 66 aircraft. How to get to that number is something that we are discussing, it is at an early stage. There is an intention, Baptista Jr. said. Meanwhile, two additional serial production F-39S are expected to be shipped to Brazil later this year.